What is up everyone? Welcome to a crazy hair video. My hair is looking pretty crazy. So let's talk. Basically, I tweeted to state that I was indeed waking up at 3.40 or whatever it is, was to watch the Nintendo Switch event and record a video. So what happened? Well, basically my alarm went off at 3.40. The night before we were watching Casino Royale until quarter to one in the morning, then we went to bed and then it felt like about two seconds later my alarm went off, so I managed to uh, materialise enough just to grab my phone from the table and sort of cuddle it, and then I instantly fell back asleep, and then my emergency alarm went off at five to four and vibrated against my shoulder, and I was like, oh my word, it's five to four. So I jumped out of bed, shoved some clothes on, came in here, booted up the event. I missed the awesome laser show at the beginning, which I'm not pleased about because the laser and the countdown was an incredible amount of hype generated and I would have really enjoyed seeing that live. But anyway, regardless, I saw all of the information about the Switch, but I did not record a single thing because, unfortunately, I felt like death. And to be perfectly honest, folks, I went back to bed, went to sleep, and when I woke up the next day, Friday, well, obviously, you know, Friday was technically the day, but it was in the middle of the night, so when I woke up, at like nine or whatever it was in the morning, I felt awful and I felt awful all day. So it is Saturday today and we are finally going to talk about the Switch and more importantly, we are finally going to order the Switch. So this video is going to be a little bit rough around the edges, it's handheld, I'm not going to do one of those sit in front of the camera and talk about what I think videos because I think I've done that maybe twice now with the Switch. But yes, this is the website Smiths and there it is on the homepage right there, the Nintendo Switch. Let's click on that and take a look. Oh wow, it takes us straight to the product page. Okay, similar products, sweet. Now, why am I ordering from Smith's Toy Shop? Few reasons. Firstly, I'm gonna pre-order for click and collect in store. I wanna pick it up in person. Why do I wanna do this? I think going out and getting it, you know, specifically driving to the place and picking it up physically in person is a part of the experience. Getting a console on launch is a big deal and it's nice to make a big deal out of it so we'll actually go to the shop, see how many people are there, see how much hype is surrounding it, it'll be really cool. Just a bloke come into the house with a parcel just doesn't have the same kind of feeling to it. Why click and collect in store for Smiths? You can also do that for Game, you can probably do that for Tesco and a few other shops that are around us. Smiths is cool because it's easy for us to get to. It's a very cool shop, it looked good on camera. You can park right outside it. We don't have to go into town, it's like outside town in a retail kind of park, so really easy to get to and yeah, I've had good luck with pre-orderings from Smiths and games pre-order reputation uh, in regards to Nintendo products of late leaves a little bit to be desired. So it sends us directly to the page to order the Switch, the normal one with the grey Joy-Cons, but I actually want to go for the colourful Joy-Con controllers. I kind of spent a lot of time thinking about it. I'm pretty half and half about this decision, but I'm going to go for the colourful ones anyway, because in my opinion, with the normal version, there's just too much grey going on. It looks nice, it looks really classy, and I'm not a massive fan of these neon colours. There's just a little bit too much grey going on without them, so we're going to get the neon colours. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, um, I'm not going to be using the Joy-Cons much anyway because I'm going to order the Pro Controller and I've got a feeling I'm going to use the Pro Controller for most stuff. So, $279.99. Personally, I think this is a great price point. It would have been nice to see it just under the $250. I think $249.99 would have been epic, but this is not too bad. They could have easily made it $299.99, so $279.99. Not too bad at all. I think it will be desirable for people at that price. And the fact that they give you the Joy-Con grip, they give you the straps, they give you the two Joy-Con, they give you the dock, they give you pretty much everything you need and more, you know, that's pretty cool. They could easily, for this price, sell you the console and say, oh, you've got to buy your own Joy-Con grip. Even though I think that would be a terrible, terrible way to release the system. It's cool that they give you all of this stuff. Nintendo have always been good at giving you stuff in the box. You look at the Wii U, they gave you a dock for the gamepad. They gave you a stand for the console. They didn't have to give out all of these things. So let's do it, folks. Let's hit the pre-order button. Oh, first, we've got to select our store. Blah, 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 Swansea. That's me. For those of you who don't know or are new to the channel, I live in Wales. Pre-order. There we go. Okay, added to our basket. Let's take a look at our basket and have a look at the Switch sitting in there. Oh yeah, there it is. Nintendo Switch, neon red slash blue. 
Uh, Pre-order, click and collect. Pre-order online. Oh, cool. It will work with collect for that store. Sweet. So that's the console in the bag. Sorted. Now, I do wish that from the get-go there were more colour options for the Joy-Con controllers. I think it would be sweet if they offered like a yellow and green or something, I've got no idea. The fact that they offer something other than just the grey from the get-go is really good. I do honestly think that the all grey system looks a bit grey, especially like they're trying to target an older audience with a lot of the things that they're going to be doing, which is fantastic. but. They want to keep the kids around as well. That's a very grey system for kids. So I've just done a search for Nintendo Switch on the site to see all of their products. And they've got a fairly decent selection of products here. What I like about these uh, compared to the game list, we'll take a look at the game list in a second, is all of this stuff is going to be available at launch. Whereas on the game website, it shows stuff that's not going to be available for quite some time. So that makes things confusing. Here we go. Here's the game stuff. Now you do get the limited edition Zelda version here. I'm not quite sure if that's the top notch one. I know there's a couple of different ones, but check it out, guys. You've got Mario Kart, you've got uh, Skyrim, you've got all sorts of different games, uh, blah, 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 games that aren't even released yet and aren't going to be released for a while. But to be fair, they're offering quite a few more products than Smiths, even some third-party stuff. So let's have a look. Joy-Con controller grip. These are third-party. Let's have a little look coming up. There is also a Hori gamepad up here somewhere. I did see it. Here we are. Nintendo Switch wired controller. That's third party. $27.99. A lot cheaper than the Pro Controller. Anyway, we're not pre-ordering from game, but I just thought I'd show you that it can be a bit confusing because a lot of these products aren't going to be available at launch. Uh, but a lot of them are. Look, they've even got a Super Mario Odyssey there. $59.99. Crikey. So back on to Smiths. Let's move on. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Let's take a look at this. Now there's barely any info written about these things, but it's okay because we know all the info we need. $64.99 pre-order. My God. And that pushes the total price up to $344.98, man. So I tell you something, folks. I will say something. That is one expensive Pro Controller. And I've read a couple of articles saying that it does leave a little to be desired in terms of build quality and how it feels. For instance, the Wii U Pro Controller. I saw it in Tesco today selling for £37. That's not bad. It's always been around 40 quid, but I always thought it should have been 30 quid because you compare it to a 50 pound DualShock 4 or whatever, there is quite a, a noticeable quality difference. I love the Pro Controller, the Wii U one, because it's got fantastic battery life. It feels really nice in the hand, but in terms of buttons and just the overall sort of feel to the plastic and that, it's not quite up there. And even though apparently this one for the Switch is a lot better, it's still not up there. I'm going to have to judge for myself when it arrives, but 64 99 I know it's meant to have these HD rumble features and stuff. Bloody man, that is expensive. I'm just really glad that I've, I've had money put aside for this console for the last year and a half or so. One interesting note about Smiths is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is listed for $49.99, whereas everywhere else, including game, it's listed for $59.99, and the Wii U version is listed as $49. But you can pre-order Breath of the Wild on Wii U for £40 on Amazon. But you can get it for Switch from Smiths for $49.99, apparently. Obviously, this is pre-order, so the prices aren't set in stone. That's pretty wild. But anyway, let's talk games. Now, I am pretty bonkers ordering this on launch for myself personally. Now, this is going to be a little bit of news to some of you, but if you've been watching my videos for a while, then you'll know this about me. I'm a big Nintendo fan. I love their first party games. I love their consoles. And I just love how the company just, I love how they're all about the games. The Wii U, there were some mega questionable decisions that they made in regards to the Wii U especially from a marketing standpoint. But what I love is even throughout Crisis, they are still all about the games, putting out games, putting out games, and they're quality games for the most part. Even in the announcement of the Switch, there was no talk about anything like, you know, streaming services and video on demand and, you know, whatever the heck. It was all about games, and I love that. But I'm a bit of a nutter for pre-ordering this system, and if I hadn't been hyped up to pre-order this system for the last year or so, I probably wouldn't do it. Why? Because there is not a game at launch that, I in, that I'm going to enjoy. And I, you, you guys must think I'm nuts, because Zelda Breath of the Wild, probably the most anticipated game in a Nintendo fan's eyes of the last decade has been announced. Well, half a decade, maybe. I'm not a Zelda fan. I've said it before and I'll say it again, and it always sparks off a bit of craziness in the comments, but I'm sorry, guys. 
I, I'm not a Zelda person, I'm not a Zelda gamer, I have no idea why. And for 50 quid, I'm not gonna try it. And let's check out the game I will be pre-ordering. This is pretty much my only option, the 1-2 Switch. It looks cool, it's a bit of an expensive game at £40 for a bit of a gimmicky party game, but it's either that, or Skylanders, or Just Dance. So what the hell am I gonna buy? 1-2 Switch, here we are, pre-order, so I'll have something to play on the damn thing. And don't get me wrong, 1-2 Switch does look really cool, but how long is it going to keep me entertained? So let's step back for a minute and just be like, whoa, Tom, you're pre-ordering a system and you don't even want Zelda. I know, I know, it's pretty wild, but please don't shout at me. I'm doing this half so that I can make some crazy fun videos for you guys. And to be honest, I think this whole process is going to be really fun. Here we have it. Pre-order, online pre-order, collect. Okay, that's the button we need to press. Boom, there it is. <gasps> okay, what the hell is this? Sorry, you cannot purchase more than one pre-order product at the same time. Please review your basket and remove some items. What? What does this mean? What? Okay, remove Pro Controller. Remove one, two, switch. Okay, it's just the switch now. Pre-order collect. First time Smiths, no. So opening times for this store on Friday, which of course is March 3rd, is 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. So we'll probably get there around maybe 11 a.m., have some lunch out and then get home and unbox the system and make a lovely video. So order summary, Nintendo Switch quantity one, click and collect is free, proceed to payment. So I'm gonna be old school and I'm gonna print my order. Just pre-ordered the Pro Controller, let's also print this one. We're gonna go there with a file. Oh yeah guys, the ultimate in proof. Here we go. Nice. One console, neon blue and red, one extraordinarily expensive pro controller, and a game that is totally not Zelda. There we have it. Boom. So I've had a chance to calm down, I've taken my jumper off, I've cooled down a little bit. Here is my documentation. I've pretty much got to put my excitement on hold until March 3rd. I'm going to walk into the shop with my six pieces of paper because I'm old school like that and I think it'll be pretty amusing for the staff. I am very much looking forward to that day. The Nintendo Switch is such a peculiar system, such an odd device that I honestly can't wait to get my hands on it to see what it's all going to be about. You guys aren't going to see another Switch video, probably unless some big announcement happens. You probably won't see another Switch video until around March 3rd, March 4th, when I get the system. There'll be a vloggy type video along the same lines as this one where we go and get the system and then there'll be an unboxing of course where we'll do a proper in-depth unboxing and probably boot it up and stuff, see what it does. If you've made it this far in the video, comment down below a few questions I want you guys to answer. Are you pre-ordering? If so, where have you pre-ordered it from? Are you happy with the price? Do you think it's a good price? Is it not a good price? What about accessories? Do you agree with the majority and think the accessories are crazy expensive? Just let me know your Switch feelings down below. And also, another interesting thing, it is sold out in Amazon UK, on Amazon UK. How many units did they get? I have no idea. Will it become available between now and March 3rd again? I've got no idea. But who knows how much this thing is selling. I'm really excited to see how this thing shifts. I'm just excited to see everything. Thank you for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been great fun to make. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>